please welcome Rachel Cruz. <laughs> now, Rach. Yes. Let's talk about the title of the book first. I have always been a person who was raised this way, and I live this way, and I share this philosophy with everyone that works here. Yes. Um, you don't have to be rich to have a rich life. Yes, so in the book, I walk people through seven money habits for living the life they want. And we all have money habits. Some are good, some are bad, but putting good ones in place lets you live the life you want. And so one of those habits is quitting the comparisons. Right. And in our world today, you know, 30 years ago, keeping up with the Joneses, you actually had to see the Joneses in person. And today, we carry them around in our back pockets on our phones, right? That's right. Social media and all of that. So learning to love your life, not everyone else's, and putting good money habits in place, like steering clear of debt, making a plan for your money, thinking before you spend, all of those things will really help you lower debt, stress, and worry in your and life. And have the, the, the life you want. Less yes. stress, more fun. That's it. I know. All about all right. that. Now, I do love... I do love a good dollar store. <laughs> so I, would, I. Yes. I would always stop on my way home from work and be like, oh... Yeah, sure, that glass is only 50 cents. I'll go in and do it. I want yeah. that pillow for a dollar. <laughs> so what do we have here is a, this is like a roadmap, a display yes. of what to buy and not to buy. We have lots of examples cool. here. But one of the first things to remember, when you're walking into a dollar store, remember, not everything is a dollar. So then if we true. go in and we're like, oh, we overspend because we think everything is a great deal. So you have to look. And the products are going to be different, not just price, but actually quality and quantity as well. So okay. a great example here is windshield wiper fluid. OK, so we right. have. We have a dollar store, and we have, you know, from, a, from an auto shop. But if you look closely, this is the thing, you have to look at labels. Here, you can use this one at negative 20 degrees. Ah, so and the, at the, auto shop. the bargain one, it yes. may not do its job. It's not. It's 32 degrees is what it shows. Oh. So I live in upstate New York. This would never work. Exactly, yeah. Unless you're in Florida, maybe you can go here. So. Read your labels, just like you would in any store. Exactly. Yeah. And so toilet paper, another great example here. OK, Rachel, I'm going to have you. Start rolling, right? Keep going, keep going. Because what we have here... It's only an hour-long show, Rach. That's it, that's it, okay. So what we have here, what we have here is right. a dollar store roll, and what we have here is from a grocery store. Similar right. brand, but what you're going to see is we're running out faster here of the dollar store, because the dollar store rolls only have 132 sheets. 132? Yes, where this has some, some of them are close to 1,000. I so, buy 1,000 sheets. I know, that's I it. I buy 1,000 sheets, 1,000 sheets only. So look, I mean, Because my husband can go through this like nobody's <laughs> business. It happens, it happens. <laughs> So say no to short rolls. Yes, and what's interesting here is a dollar store, it's a dollar, and so you think, oh wow, four, four rolls here, that's great, uh, where this is four twenty nine, but you're gonna end up spending close to seven dollars a dollar store to, to get, get the same amount. number of yes. paper. So you're actually right. saving same money amount. by buying at the grocery store. But at dollar store, there's still so many great things you can buy, and this is a great example of that. So any kind of party supplies, buy at a dollar store. I mean, Napkins, plates, greeting cards, wrapping paper. Wrapping paper exactly. There are so many. When I'm in the city, I notice this. Yes. In 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 big cities, there are so many stationery stores that are lovely to look at, but you can go in and spend literally a hundred dollars oh, easily yes. to wrap a few gifts. I know. It's crazy. It is. It's like eight dollars, twelve dollars. No, thank you. I buy butcher paper, brown craft paper. <laughs> That's right. And Looks for so children, I buy solid color. Yes. Period. It's at it. the holidays. Exactly. That's it. So here we have at a dollar store, look, we wrap two more gifts than what we did here at a party supply store. 20 feet versus 16 feet. Right. This is a dollar. This is three ninety-nine. Right. So you're saving a lot of and money. And you're gonna by throw it in the garbage. You're gonna be ripping it up anyway. Unless so you're my mother-in-law who refolds and saves. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> You can do that. Yeah, I don't know about the rabbit. And party decorations too, right? Yes. So seasonal. I don't know if you're a seasonal decorator around the house. A little bit. I try not to go too overboard. Yes. So bit. some people do this, and you can spend a lot of money here. And so what we did here is figured out a dollar store and a and a kind of a hobby store, and they look very similar. So they really right, do. If you look, I mean, even the back of them, it basically looks like the exact same. Same item, but this is a dollar store and this is a party store. And so, I mean, do you really want to spend, you know, 15, 20 bucks on this stuff? Right. Or do you want to spend a buck? It's pretty right. comparable. So, really, what we found with these is they're very similar in pricing, actually. And so, what happens a lot of manufacturers will, will ship to stores mm -hmm. and the stores decide if they mark it up or down. And so, oh, with see. this, really, it's pretty much whatever convenient to you. So, if a dollar store is right there, hop into the dollar store, that's great. Or, you if can a hobby still store farm better, bargains at a hobby store. Too. Exactly. Okay, yes. good. So, all over the place. But again, check your labels, check quantity and quality as well. Buyer beware as always. Yes.
of course. Now, what is this? Explain this. This yes. is okay. brilliant. Well, one of my, my big things in life is teaching people how to budget. And a budget, some people cringe. Most people hate the word budget because they feel like they can't have fun, they can't enjoy life. That it's going to deny them. Exactly. But that's the opposite. A budget doesn't limit your freedom. A budget gives, gives you, freedom. you freedom. Gives you permission to spend. And so I'm all about doing a budget, being very specific, having categories, mm -hmm. saying this is what I'm going to spend at the grocery, here's what we're going to spend at restaurants. So being very, very specific. And I love cash, Rachel. I mean, Because I know you all... know the value of yes, it. Yes, it's a great exactly. accountability. Instead of just swiping the credit card, you have no emotional attachment. Cash gives you that emotion. You have to let go of cash. So because of all that, I created a wallet here that's specific for your cash envelopes. And so what I did here is I got clips because I like using these kind of wallets. Right. That, so I created that. And so I have these clips, which are color specific. And so you can say, okay, I'm going to cash out my grocery money. And the purple is for groceries. So when you go to the grocery store, you spend out of this clip. You can do clothes here. You can do your personal items here. You know, you can go down the list. But this helps you spend with cash and Love stay that. on track, stay on the budget. So easy. Yes. Very easy. And it's something that everyone here can actually practice. So everybody is going to go home and re-budget uh, because she's gifting everyone the wallets and her book. Yeah.